Hello, hello, welcome. Of course, you already know my name is Bunny. And if you're here, you already know what the deal is. This is beginner's level of healing for the soul. So today I'm going to be giving you different tips and advice for healing in a healthy manner. Um, but before I start, I first want to say, please follow all of my social media channels. I will post them in the video in this area right here. Um, I also want to say towards the end of this book and in another video, I will be talking about this as well. But I have a ebook that is filled with over 50 prompts that ask you questions that you normally wouldn't ask yourself to stimulate your mind and to also get you to think back to the root of who you are and help you with deciphering your feelings, thoughts, and beliefs. So, now that I have that all out of the way, I first want to start by saying thank you for purchasing this book, this video, this audio book, video, whatever you want to call it. Um, the fact that you purchased this book lets me know and she lets you know that you are really truly trying to help yourself heal in a healthy manner so that you can live a more positive happy and free lifestyle um and finally i want to say thank yourself because it is up to you for how you want your life to turn out how you want to live whether that is positive or negative everything falls on and reflects on you okay now we can get started so, in the beginning phase of your wake-up call, in the beginning phase of your healing process, you first want to start to have spiritual practices. And this can include meditation, um, sitting and having a long time. This can also include listening to different musics that raise your vibration, and a number of other things. And the point and purpose of this is to allow you to analyze your thoughts, what makes you feel a certain way, what makes you do this or that, and eventually get into the root of who you are, what made you, why you're this way, how to change the narrative, or how to keep the narrative the same, period. Okay, now with meditation, I will say Especially for a beginner, this is not going to be easy. It might take a couple of times. Something that helps with meditation for me is breathing exercises. So I like to breathe in through my nose, allow all that air, all that pure oxygen to flow through my body and feel it flow through my body. And then breathe it right out. Let When you're breathing out, think that you are releasing all the negative and releasing all the energy that you don't no longer need in your body and you're purifying yourself out. Focus on your breathing and this will help calm your thoughts, calm your nerves, and it, it should help you slip in or ease into your meditation state. This state being on a higher level of frequency and also a higher level beyond the third dimension, basically. Um, so basically, your soul leaves your body, and your body is still there, but you're digging deep within yourself so that you can analyze these thoughts and analyze your feelings, and this helps you break down or get to the root of who you are. We all are connected. We all are one. When I say that, just like how a tree has roots, you have a root. You started from the seed, and then eventually those roots grew up. The roots being your family, your environment that you were in when you were growing up as a child. Eventually, you become into that tree stem. This is your toddler, your adolescent years. And over time, you grow, you grow, you grow, you get bigger, you get bigger, and all this other stuff. That is very similar to a tree. We all are connected with everything, from nature to animals to the stars, the moon, everything is all connected. It is all one. Okay, so with that being said, the second step or the second process to healing would be to get in a journal where it help 
what really helped for me was getting a journal because not only was I able to analyze my thoughts, but I was able to write down my thoughts and physically see it on paper. This makes it easier for you to practice and learn what your thought process is. If you feel like your thought process is negative, you looking at those negative thoughts, you can turn around and say, okay, how do I make my negative thoughts to a positive? For example, um... So say for instance, the negative thought that you have in your head, you drop something. You you tend to always drop things. So you tell yourself the negative side. You tell yourself, you're so stupid. You're so clumsy. Instead of saying that, say, I will be less prone to dropping things. I will, and a lot of times, like when you're fidgety, you drop things. So this can go even deeper to why you're fidgety. When did that start? ask yourself these questions that way you can continue to break down what's going on why you do this why you do that and how can you fix it turn it around make it from a negative to a positive so um again and journaling also helps with releasing stress because you don't have so many thoughts in your head at once you were able to get those thoughts out your head and put them down on paper and look at your thoughts which makes it it, it it could be tough because if you have a, it could be tough because if you have a lot of negative thoughts and you realize like dang I didn't know that I was that negative that's okay the whole purpose of doing this is so that you can fix it so don't feel bad for that okay now beyond this I also have to find different things that I like to do that relax me or allow me to be creative and. Some of the things that I like to do or some of the hobbies and activities that were for me was painting. Um, I always like to paint. And this comes back, this is what I mean about going back to your roots. But this comes from my dad and also my uncle on my mother's side. Both of them are very artistic. Also, my sister, my older sister, she's artistic as well. This is something that runs in the family. So it kind of was natural to me. But again, it allowed me to release some stress as well as release some creative juices onto a plaster or a paper. Um, some other things that I like to do is I watch movies, but I like to watch movies that have a meaning or a purpose. It helps me with analyzing or dissecting different events, just as practice. I, that's maybe that's something weird that I do. <laughs> um, another thing that I like to do as well, and hopefully you do too, I like to go outside and take walks. Taking walks relaxes me so much because I'm in nature. I'm able to look at the trees. And once you connect and you realize that we all are one, it makes you look at nature in even a more beautiful light. Like the birds just be singing and chirping to you. It feel like the squirrels is running up to you. The birds is running up to you. The wind is blowing in your hair in such a beautiful way that it just makes you feel good inside. And that shows on the outside y'all see me glowing that shows on the outside okay um okay so after doing these two things um finding spiritual practices that help you um with awareness and figuring out and finding who you are and then um finding different activities that you like to do that allows you to release stress and also be creative as well release your creative juices um the next thing would be doing research. And this could, all these things that I'm saying does not have to necessarily be in order. For me, these things were like almost inevitable. Like they just happened or something happened that caused me to say, let me try this, let me do this, let me do that. I'm just giving y'all the blueprint or the breakdown of what steps and processes I went through. Maybe there's other people out there who have went through different processes, but for a majority of people that are spiritual or aware or on a higher level of thinking and consciousness, these are things that we tend to do so again the the third thing for me was doing research and my research started on social media platforms i was following different people on tiktok on instagram and things like that 
um, people who were also as well in tune spiritually or in tune with themselves, their subconscious, and had a different perspective or view of way the way their life worked and the way their life truly was. So, um, these people eventually influenced me to start looking to even deeper um, researches. And this led me back to reading books. Growing up when I was younger, I used to like reading books, but only on things that um, excited me. And some of my favorite topics were history, um, science fiction, different things like that. So I went back to reading, but my purpose of reading was one for entertainment, but also two to learn. So I found books that were either spiritual based, books that were um based on breaking down and reading your mind knowing what your mind is telling you knowing how your mind works and reprogramming it for it to work for you if first something becomes a thought and then it becomes a reality this is this is a fact this is science so if you're thinking negative you're attracting negativity if you're thinking positive you're attracting positivity so it's good for you to reprogram your brain from negative to positive that way you have a more favorable uh aspirous life now it's, it don't just take you just thinking about it of course there's things and stuff that you have to do you have to put in the work and you have to you know get things done on your own but a lot of times especially when whether it positive or negative things will just fall into place in your life negative events positive events negative people positive people whatever level of vibration that you're on is what you're going to attract please know and understand this okay so with that being said like i said i did research i found different books they helped me with uh, meditating. They helped me with analyzing my my mind and my thoughts. They helped me with um, understanding the conscious. They helped me with learning different practices. They helped me. Um, I read history books that brought me back to the beginning of where Hoodoo and Voodoo came from. Um, different spells that they used, different herbs that they used. Um, different diet i i um started reading books that gave me different ideas of a better diet for myself as far as cook because what you put in your body is also who you are as well so if you're putting healthy foods in your body eventually over time you will notice and this is something that i did before as well i did a 24-hour water diet and when I tell you guys, you gotta go watch the video. It's on my YouTube channel at Bunny's Garden. Again, it's on my YouTube channel at Bunny's Garden under 24 hour water diet. And basically, for the whole day, I only drank water. I did not eat food. I did not even take any chunks or nothing. Literally, strictly water. And honestly, as challenging as it sounds, and it definitely was challenging, especially for my first time. Like I said in the video, I had so much energy the whole day. Normally, on my regular day's diet, and um, I eat healthy foods, but at the same time, I eat snacks. And those things can make you sluggish because when I didn't have it, I had energy. I didn't need a nap in the afternoon. I was able to get a lot of things done and still had energy. was still up fixing and figuring out other things, so... What you put in your body is also what makes you who you are. Keep that in mind. The last step that I have or the last piece of advice that I have for you on your healing journey and through your healing process is getting back out there and connecting with people. Try your best to connect with people who are on your level or people who are above you. That way that they're a positive influence in your life. Um... That way you're not around low vibrational people all the time or negative people all the time and they'll bring you down and bring you back to that lowest space that you just came from. You you want to keep rising, keep elevating, keep going up. You don't want to go back down. That's not what we're here for. That's not what we're trying to do. And even with me saying that, 
there are some people who you love who are negative and i get that i understand that because i live it i do it i've done it all that stuff the advice that i have for you on that is set boundaries one and two be careful and wary of how much time you spend with these people because you don't want to be around the negativity for too long but definitely set healthy boundaries now if these people are people who do not respect your boundaries the best advice to you is to let them go no matter how much you love them you can't help them you can't unless you feel like you can deal with it but honestly over time it's gonna wear you down you go see it you gonna notice it you it's gonna be times when you go back even though you notice it but you go you gonna notice it and eventually it's gonna you gonna nip it in the bud period speaking of this period even with all this information that I'm giving you, please understand that this is a forever process. This is a lifetime process. You're not going to get a perfect the whole journey. It's going to be the ups and downs because why? This is life. That's just how that works. Nobody's life is perfect. Nobody is always happy. Things happen. And again, that is okay. As long as you have discipline and willpower and stay on yourself because you truly want to live a positive and happy life you go get yourself back on track or something go happen that something is going to happen that's going to get you back on track or push you back even more and it's up to you to get back on track it's up to you to love yourself enough that you say no i'm not doing this I did this for a little second. I had my slip up. I'm sitting with myself. I'm analyzing why I did that. Okay, cool. I got it back together. I'm not going to do that no more. Don't allow it to become a recurring pattern, though. Okay, here, here's this. It takes 30 days to cause or create a habit. So, for 30 days, practice your, your spiritual practices. Practice talking to yourself practice analyzing things practice living a positive free and flowing life practice 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 30 days causes a habit create positive habits create positive behaviors not negative ones cut those break those and look at it as this you doing this not only for yourself, but something bigger than you. Because you are the face and the bridge of the next generation that comes after you. So with that being said, be a positive influence. Do this not just for yourself, but for the younger generation. Do it for the kids. And I know that may sound like a lot. That might be putting a lot on you, but we got to do it. We got to stay together. You are not alone in this journey. You are not alone in this process. And if you ever feel alone, there's people here. Reach out. Please reach out. It's okay if you get so far and you have to start over. That is okay. It happens. That's just what it is. Well, that is all that I have. I will see you guys next time. Please, at the end, go ahead and purchase that book. Get yourself started with your shadow working. And I love y'all.